Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and this is part, what is this, part four of the Kong tutorial on how to create a complete Kong drum design patch kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, so in this section, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create, um, how to attach four different synth modules to the um, four of the different uh, Kong drums and have the pads in Kong trigger those synths. So to get started, let's uh, create... Let's see, let's create a Thor synth. Um, let us add in, open the browser. Let's go to the Reason Factory sound bank. Let's go down to the Thor patches. Um, let us take a female choir. Okay, simple enough. Uh, let's tab to the back. Uh, what we're going to do. Um, also, the other thing we're going to do, take these Kong routings and put them up into the first mixer and then um, make sure that this, these outputs for this Thor go into the second mixer, the first channel. Then take the gate CV um, and take the first one, the gate out from drum 13 into the gate in. So now what's going to happen if you play it, you are going to hear the female choir. So let's take that patch, let's duplicate it, duplicate it again, and duplicate it one more time. And by the way, this setup to have the gate sent uh, from the CV out from 13, drum 13 into the gate in, and have the audio going back up to the um, mixer here, that's the same whether it's Maelstrom, a Thor, um, you could even, I don't know why you do it, but you could do the Dr. Rex, you could do an NXT, you could do whatever you want. Um, it all works pretty much the same way. Uh, so now let's just route these to their own channels. Okay. So once we've got that done, now we can start um, adding the CVs and put them on your remaining drum triggers for the pads and that's the basic setup there now let's again open the browser and let's go into what do we want textures uh, what do we want what do we want what was the texture I was looking for here hmm why can I not find it now was it even under textures all right, not sure. Let's go under the signature sounds. Let's take one that I really like, which is Steelwork. Okay. Always like that one. Uh, let's go under, let's see, what do we want to have? Is it under FX? Yes, 60 Sci-Fi. I like this one. Okay, and then finally, Let's open up, uh, uh, what else can we put here? There's one called A-Bomb that I was looking for and I can't really find it. Uh, <laughs> where is it? It's under effects? Yep, okay, well, I'll take that one. <laughs> okay, and A-Bomb. Kind of sounds kind of drummy too. Okay, now, the one thing I don't like about this is that they kind of both of these have a very long release time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, I'm going to pull the release time down a little, and then let's see how that sounds. That's pretty good. Maybe pull that up just a little bit. And then on the A-bomb one, again, I'm going to pull the release down a little. And let's see what that sounds like. Very nice. The other problem... Especially on this one, actually. You'll see there's no velocity setting. Okay, take open up the female choir. That's right, there's no velocity. So up the velocity on this. And while you're at it, up the velocity on this. 
not all the way, but just a little bit. I could use a little bit more velocity there. Up the velocity here. Okay, now let's close these up. So now you've got velocity settings. Play it down here on the pad, it's low. Play it up there, it's high. Okay, so sounds pretty good. So now that we've got this in place, um, the next step is to figure out some ways, some creative ways that we can actually trigger them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start working some magic with my combinator. Okay, so now next step is to create, hold down shift so that we don't, um, when you hold down shift, you're not creating the auto routing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a redrum. For now, I'm just going to create one. And in the pattern section, I'm just going to do Control R, 2, Control R, 3. Go through the patterns until you have eight patterns. And by hitting Control R, you're creating random patterns in each, in each bank here. Okay, so you've got eight random patterns in here. Now on the back, what we are going to do, and let me just get rid of the clutter. What you're going to do is you're going to take your gate output and you're going to trigger it to the gate in on all the drums. Okay, so all of these channels, your redrum, in this way, by doing this, you're, you're telling Reason, or Record, that your redrum is actually going to be the sequencer for the Kong drum module. Okay, so do the first eight with this one redrum. Tab back to the front. Um, copy or actually duplicate devices and tracks. Okay. Now in here, these are all already set up, but you can if you what you're gonna do is all of these these eight patterns are now set up the exact same as these eight patterns. So we've got to again do the control R and make them a little different. And I'm just doing random patterns and I'm only doing eight just to show you as an example. You can do up to thirty two, you can do as many as you want. Um, so once we've done that, then you're going to, again, have to go up and assign all of these okay, to the other eight drums. And it's a bit of a tedious process, but once you set it up, you can say this is a template and you won't ever have to recreate it again. You can just go in and then put in your new drums or your new synth modules and away you go. So now that you've got that set up, um, you can listen to it by hitting the play button down here. Okay, a little chaotic, I know, but you can, if you want, you don't have to set up random patterns. You can take the time out and program those drums in there um, very specifically to get exactly the drum sound you want. Um, the one thing you're going to want to do after you do that is you're going to have to take a uh, redrum both the redrums actually, the redrum 2 and the redrum 2 copy. And on rotary 1, you're going to go down to the pattern and select pattern. You're going to change this to 0. And since we only have 8 drums in there, you've got to set this to 7. So this means that this rotary is going to be your pattern select. And you're going to do the same thing for the redrum 2 copy. The reason you have to put it on zero for the minimum is because if you put it on negative one, negative one means no pattern, zero means pattern one, and then it goes up to seven, which is really the first eight patterns in redrum. So now you've got your pattern select up here tied to your rotary. Um, we can start working on some of the other aspects of it, which I will get into in the next video. So thanks for listening. It's Rob at Reason101.net. Stay tuned for the next and hopefully final tutorial for how to create these uh, massive drum creations and drum sounds. Thanks a lot for listening.